hello everybody and welcome back to my channel or hi hello if you are new here and thank you for joining me for today's video. Today's video is going to be my last video of 2023 and I'm really excited to share with you all of the gifts that I got gifted for Christmas. I hope you enjoy seeing everything that I got and I just love filming these videos as well because it just gives me a chance to sit down and go through each individual item, have a proper look at it and just really appreciate it. I hope you all had a wonderful Christmas and enjoyed all of the festivities and I hope you got some lovely gifts too but I do just wanna say Christmas is not about the gifts. I know I'm sat here doing what I got for Christmas video, but I totally appreciate Christmas is not about gifts. So if you didn't get many gifts, you didn't get any gifts, or you don't do gifts at Christmas, or you got loads and loads of gifts, everything is fine, everybody's different, and each family does it their own way. So we don't generally buy for loads of people in our family. So some of these bits are from my friends and some are from my family, but we definitely don't go mad at Christmas. So I have lots of little bits to show you, but I don't have like loads of like massive big gifts to show you, but I hope you enjoy the video anyway. So um, let's just get into it. So the first thing is what I'm wearing. It is this beautiful set of silk pajamas. They are honestly amazing. This is the first time I've put them on today. I put them on specifically for this video. And they just feel so, so nice against your skin. They're this gorgeous pink color with like a red edging on them. I mean, I probably should have like given them a little wash before I put them on and maybe, I don't know, steamed out the creases or something, but I didn't. I just put them straight on because I just wanted to wear them. And they feel so nice. They have three quarter length sleeves and they also have three quarter length trousers and I actually really like the three quarter length trousers it's not something I'd normally go for but it's really nice because I have uh, these are really old now but these are my like fluffy pink slippers that I got from Aldi a few years ago and they go so nicely with this and you can actually like see the fluffy pink slipper at the bottom of the trousers so yeah really really happy with this one I have kept the box so I can show you where it's from so the brand is called silky no silk silky natural fiber hypoallergenic and breathable and i am really excited for these because i've been really struggling with my skin recently where it's getting really dry and itchy i think it is our washing powder but also maybe the material of my pajamas isn't that great i mean i do normally wear cotton so i feel like it's probably all right but i'm interested to see how these silk pajamas act against my skin at night and whether they just leave them a little bit softer and less dry because silk is supposed to be really really good for your skin isn't it i do use a silk pillowcase as well which helps your hair and also helps the skin on your face so with this brand you also get a guarantee and you also get with it this like little piece of silk material and it says here that you can burn this to test authenticity so i'm I can't remember what it is about silk, how it burns, it doesn't burn. Something different happens with silk, so you can tell whether it is real 100% silk. So you do get that with it as well. Um, but I'll tell you some of the benefits of silk and like silk pajamas. So it says reduces fine lines and wrinkles, helps prevent acne, keeps the skin hydrated, hypoallergenic and cooling, prevents puffiness, increases collagen production, hair protection and prevents bedhead, prevents frizz and breakage and it also contains natural amino acids. And it does say actually that you should hand wash them, that's probably better for them. And it says fill a sink with cold water and add a small amount of delicate silk detergent. So I feel like when you buy something like this, it's a little bit of work to kind of keep them nice, but it's worth it because they are quite an expensive item, so you do really want to look after them. So I'm definitely going to do that because I'm honestly so happy with them and I can't even explain the feeling on my skin and oh, it's just so lovely. And I also like the fact that the collar is not like massively up here. I really don't like collared pyjamas when they're like all the way around my neck. And this is really nice and low, it's lovely and loose and it's not going to get all the way around my neck and yeah, it just feels really cool and comforting, love it. Okay, so next up I have this little gift box here filled with a few different gifts, so let me show you what is in here. First of all, I love this gift box, like how nice is this? So the first thing that I have in here are this pair of riding gloves so happy with these I did mention in one of my previous videos that I have started horse riding lessons I have always been a horse rider on and off throughout my whole life but I've never really stuck to doing consistent lessons so my riding technique is a little bit random it's probably not the best at all I've probably got loads of bad habits so I have started riding lessons because I kind of want to excel in a hobby i want to actually say i can ride a horse and i can ride a horse well rather than i can just get on a horse and like 
hold on. Do you know what I mean? So I have been dedicating myself to horse riding lessons. They are very expensive, so I don't only go every two weeks. Maybe one day I can afford more lessons, but at the moment we're just doing every two weeks, one horse riding lesson. It's only half an hour, so it's like such a precious half an hour to me. But I'm getting on quite well with it. So these are a lovely gift. They are proper horse riding gloves, and they feel so nice. Like, oh, they're just lovely. And they fit me, I was gonna say they fit me like a glove but they are a glove. So can I still say that? They fit me like a glove? They do though. They just fit so nicely, really like nice and tight and secure. And then it's all like grippy here. And then obviously around here, like where you've got to hold the reins and stuff. So yeah, really very happy with those. And they come from the brand called HY Equestrian, I think it is. I think that's the brand. Practical and stylish. A synthetic suede bar palm and reinforced forefinger and thumb, obviously, for where you hold onto the reins. So, yeah, really, really love them. Then, in the same gift box, there was a little card in here, and this does have some money in it, which will pay for one riding lesson for me. It's £30. So I can use that towards a riding lesson, which is basically what I said to people. I was like, if you don't know what to get, like some money towards a riding lesson will be amazing. So yeah, I have one riding lesson there. And then the last thing in this gift box is these beautiful earrings from Wonderlust & Co. I've talked about Wonderlust & Co in my video so much because they're just one of my favourite jewellery brands. The stuff is amazing. It's really high quality, but also really affordable. And it's like non-tarnishing stuff so in here i have this gorgeous little pair of gold hoops and these are called the sea of light gold seven millimeter baby huggy earrings by the way anything that i can find here that i can link down below i'll add links as well so that if you're interested in anything that i've got you can always go and have a look but i do have a discount code with wonderlust which i'll leave on the screen now and i'll also leave it linked down below as well so you can actually get 10 percent off your order and i'm sure they've got some kind of january sale on at the moment so if you're looking for some lovely jewelry I honestly love Wonderlust so much. Oh, this is the first time I've actually like properly got them out of the packet. That's what's so nice about just doing these videos is that I can actually like have a really good look and like chat about my gifts. So these are tiny, tiny little huggy hoops and they have a little pearl on them. So basically these hoops are designed to hug around the earlobe. So they're really comfortable. You can keep them on all the time. Like the two hoops I've got at the moment, I literally wear them all the time. This was a pair that my mum got me for my wedding present actually this is these are for my mum as well I have, I'm not really mentioning who things are from but these are from my mum um so now I'm going to put these on next to them because I just think they'll look so cute I have been wearing these other earrings here which are a hoop also from Wonderlust but I'm going to switch out those for these they are just the most gorgeous dainty little earrings and they also have just a nice weight to them their earrings aren't like really heavy but they have that weight to them that you can feel the quality so yeah me and mum always now gift each other wonderlust and co stuff because we do just love it and actually anyone that i've mentioned it to and they've also bought stuff they've also said to me how much they love it so yeah i definitely recommend it also this necklace that i wear quite a lot is also from wonderlust and co so yeah that was a little advertisement of wonderlust but i do really like their stuff like i just wouldn't talk about stuff on my channel if i didn't love it anyway so yeah you can know that anything that i talk about i genuinely love it okay and next up i have this trio of hand creams which are from bayless and harding and this is the royal garden hand cream set and i think they all smell the same you just have like different colors so they are all Rose, poppy and vanilla. Really cute packaging and obviously like handy hand cream size as well to just pop in your handbag. And then next up I have this one which I'm quite excited but also nervous about because I'm not the best gardener at all. But I love the fact that this is a wildflower because I always call our garden because there's just literally flowers and random stuff growing all over it and it just looks such a mess. I always say that it's just a wild garden. <laughs> so these are plantable wildflower seed paper. And basically, all you do here is you soak the seed paper overnight, you tear it up and you plant it under a thin layer of soil and you water gently and regularly until the seedlings sprout in about one to three weeks. I feel like I can do this, it'll be fine. And I think this one is specifically designed for butterflies and bees, which I absolutely love that it's plants designed towards them because our garden, even though I don't take care of it much at all, and I kind of leave it to do its own thing, sometimes I'll do like some weeding and stuff, but 
generally it's kind of left to its own devices. We have loads of butterflies and bees. They just love it. I think they like the, the kind of wildness of the garden. I think, I don't know, is it like safe or is it more kind of like real for them? I don't know, but they just really do love it. So we get loads of bees in the garden. And so now hopefully I'll get even more because the more butterflies and bees I see in the garden, like the happier I am. So yeah, and generally mine and Ollie's summer is spent rescuing bees that have maybe got too hot or something and they land on our like patio and they walk around and they're like oh my god I need water <laughs> so we generally like save them put them in a little bowl and we give them some sweet water and then you actually see them just like sucking up the sweet water with their I don't even know what it's called you know like the long tube thing and they're like sucking it up and then they suddenly are just like revived and they sort of move around, they start walking faster and then they fly a bit and then they just buzz off and it's just so lovely. So yeah, I do love bees and uh, this is really cool. I just realized my light wasn't actually up as bright as it normally is so I've just turned it up. So hopefully that's a little bit of a better lighting now. Okay, next up we're gonna go in with the most bougiest gift that I have and I am really excited to unbox it with you guys. I think you'll really like it. It is from Dior and it came in this beautiful packaging. Like Dior stuff is just the most beautiful packaging. I have done a whole series of videos on my channel where I unbox the cheapest thing from luxury brands and I have done Dior before and their packaging is definitely up there with the best packaging. They really, really take care. Even if you buy something off their website, it's like 10 pounds you will find it very nicely packaged. So yeah, this is what I got from Dior. It came in this gorgeous box. And then it has tissue paper here. And then it also then came inside another box. This box actually has Christian Dior in it and then it has all this like Dior, uh, like sort of shredded paper as well. And this is the gift. Oh, I just love this so much. So it is this gorgeous, I think it's a limited edition gift that they were doing. Um, and it is a little clutch bag, but filled with lipsticks. So I'm gonna show you because it is just, oh, I really, really love this. It just feels such a special piece. So this is what it looks like. So it is this gorgeous gold color. And then they were also got a bit dirty now. I actually did use this on Christmas day. They also offered engraving on it. So this, this gift is from Ollie, my husband, and it is engraved here in the middle, and it just says on there, love you, which is really cute, with like three kisses, so that's what he engraved it with. And then when you open it up, it does have a mirror at the top here, and then inside you have one like main lipstick container here with the lipstick in it, and then you have three refills here. So there, I'll show you the colours of them. So we have this one here, which I have actually added in. So the refills work, they just sort of slot into there. Um, but I, this is not the one that was in there originally. I have already changed up the refill. And it's called 720 Velvet. And these are like the creamiest matte lipsticks you've ever felt on your lips. They're so nice. And then I have this one, which is, oh wait, this one says 720 Rouge. Hmm. No, that looks brighter than that one. Not sure, but you also get that one. Then we have this one, which is more of a nude colour. Really excited to try out this one. I'm hoping you can actually see like the Dior sort of embossed into the lipstick there. It's just so satisfying. This shade is called 100 Nude Look. That's a really nice nude shade actually. So I look forward to trying that. And then finally I have this one which is 772 Classic. And this is a much more of a rosier nude colour. Also just absolutely gorgeous. So yeah, basically in this set you get the four lipsticks, you get the little clutch bag. And then what you can do is you can actually take out, so if I just remove these lipsticks here and then you can actually take out this part here and then it has Dior written in here. Um, so you can keep your lipstick in there and then if you're lucky, I wasn't lucky enough. I thought I was gonna be, but I'm not. Your phone potentially should fit in here. Now I have an iPhone 14 Pro Max. So the Max iPhone 
does not fit in here, which is so annoying. It's literally by the tiniest amount, because my idea with this clutch was that I was just gonna have my lipstick and my phone in it, which if I go out for dinner or something, that's all I take with me, and then like, you know, a card or something. But you can normally pay for everything with your phone now anyway, can't you? So they're like the only things that I need, so I really wanted it to fit, but it doesn't fit, which is so frustrating. But when I took it for Christmas Day, I did put the rest of my makeup in here for the day, and then I just carried my phone with me. But it does also come with a beautiful chain, which I will just show you now. So that also comes in the package here. The most amazing quality gold chain. So it just goes on this Christian Dior logo on the side here and like that. And then you have this beautiful clutch bag and it honestly just sits in, just in the right place. It just kind of like sits on your hip here. Um, and I just love it. I'm just very gutted though. That my phone doesn't fit in it but then I will buy like the most biggest phone that you can get but it's beautiful what a lovely thing that I can treasure forever and the fact that he's engraved it as well is so nice on the back of it as well it does have the Christian Dior uh, logo again down there also when you buy direct from the Dior website you do also get like just loads of free gifts like the more money you spend the more free gifts you get so because this was a fairly expensive item we did get quite a lot of free gifts, which I'm gonna go through and show you them. I'm just gonna tidy this up. Okay, so with the bag, the bunch of free gifts that we got was this little box here, which has Dior written on it. And this is like a little mini jewelry box. Love this, like how good is this for traveling? It doesn't have any like compartments in it or anything, but still, I feel like it's quite a cool little jewelry box. We could even, I don't know, put makeup in there or something. Um, but yeah, just a handy, nice little cute gift. And then it also came with this Dior notebook, which I love a notebook. It's just like one of my favorite things. I'm, I'm a very much a list writer. So notebooks for me are really handy. I literally have like five around the house with like different sets of notes in them. But this one is particularly beautiful. Of course it has Dior written on it. And then it has this gold edging on the pages. And then inside it is just plain paper pages with the Dior logo down the bottom. Then we also got this, which is again in just the most beautiful packaging. I don't know if this is their special like Christmas packaging, I'm not sure, but it's just lovely. So then inside here, there was this little bag of goodies. So these are all the little miniatures. So I have a miniature J'adore perfume, which these are the, are these the five mil miniatures? Because these are the ones that come in like the actual proper bottle. But look, it is actually a miniature bottle of the J'adore bottle. So I love it when you get a miniature like that rather than the little, you know, plastic spray bottle. These are just so cool and like so perfect for your handbag. I also got another one here, which is the Miss Dior Blooming Bouquet uh, mini perfume again in five mil. So it is like a little tiny miniature bottle of perfume. Love small things. And then there was also another perfume, a little plasticky one, actually just over there, I'll just grab it. So these are like the normal sample one, uh, like the one mil sample. So this one Ollie's got, and it is a one mil sample of the Sauvage perfume, which he already uses and loves, so that's really handy. And then I also have in here, I can't remember what this is. Oh, this is another perfume. So we have another miniature perfume here. And this one is two mil. Oh, maybe those little spray bottles are two mil actually, not one mil. It doesn't actually say, does it? Oh no, that is one mil, but this one is two mil. And this is the, oh, I don't know how to say, is it the Gris Dior? Not sure. Two mil perfume, I might actually put this on today. Eau de Parfum, I think this is from one of their like more expensive ranges. You know, they have that really fancy perfume range. I think it's from that. I'm gonna put it on. Oh. Oh, it's, hmm not my favourite, it's like a very strong traditional perfume. It kind of reminds me, not like, not like an old person perfume, I don't know, maybe it's a little bit an old person, person. I don't know, I don't want to offend anybody that uses this perfume. It's not my favourite, but it's, but it's not, it's not that bad. Anyway, they were all free gifts, so very lucky to have got them as well. I wonder if Dior are doing any like January sales or something. God, imagine if like we find that bag half price. 
properly. It's always a way after Christmas, isn't it? Do you know what? That perfume is definitely growing on me. It's just very strong, but now it's kind of settled a bit. It's given off some really nice floral scents. Do quite like that one. Okay, next up is a gift from someone else that also knows me very, very well. And they have gone all out with the gingerbread stuff, which, oh, gingerbread, like the look of gingerbread, the smell of gingerbread, my absolute favorite thing. So I have these gorgeous presents here. I have these mini gingerbread wax melts. Look at them, little gingerbread men wax melts. Oh, they're so adorable. It smells so good, you don't even need to open the packaging. You can like smell them through the packaging. So I'll be enjoying them for the rest of the season. And then with that, I also have this gorgeous little candle, which is gingerbread scented. And it's also handmade on the Isle of Wight, which is where I live, where we both live. So that is so nice. Um, and it is, it's from the brand Pure White Soy Candles. And it says hand poured by the sea on the Isle of Wight. So yeah, beautiful, beautiful present. I have already burnt this one, as you can see. Christmas day, I had the most wonderful bath and I burnt my gingerbread candle candle I had this gorgeous like bath melt with rose petals in it and then I also used my next gift I'm going to show you with the coffee in it and oh my god it's just like the most loveliest bath ever this one says fill your home with the warm and comforting aroma of freshly baked gingerbread with both sweet and spicy notes this is sure to be a festive favorite and you get 16 hours burn time and oh it's so good so good and then next up Still on the gingerbread theme, we have this beautiful little mug with this tiny little gingerbread man on it. Look, is this not just the cutest mug that you've ever seen? I love it so much. And this is perfect for a small frothy coffee. Love it. So this is what I had when I was in the bath with everything else. This was just so nice. So the brand that these are from, they do loads of different designs on these little mugs. Um, it's called Gazella Graham. I think I'm saying that right, but that's the brand and you can get all of the different designs on these little mini mugs. I'm not sure if she does bigger ones. She probably does. I've also seen like milk jugs and stuff that she does so yeah they're really lovely kind of chunky stoneware range but with these really cute small designs on them okay next up i have some more money in here there's enough money in here for two more riding lessons so so far i've got three riding lessons for christmas which very happy with that and then next up i have this pampering treats which i love and also one of my favorite things is the calm range from m&s oh it smells so good all of the M&S like bath and body and home fragrance stuff is so nice. Like can't rave about it enough. So I was very happy to see this one because I'm gonna save this one for like when I go away somewhere. It's really nice to be able to use it, obviously when I'm not home as well. So I'm gonna save this little mini body wash. And then in here, there's also a pulse point uh, like rollerball thing, which I've never used from m and I didn't even know they did them. Oh. The smell of this stuff is just so good. So the Calm Range, has lavender, sweet orange, hoewood, and cedarwood. Mm. So it's just like spa, like relaxing spa. It's exactly what it smells like. So in that set came the little rollerball and then the body wash. Then I also have another body wash from the body shop. I'm actually very interested to try this one because I noticed it says for sensitive and dry skin. And like I was saying earlier in the video, dry skin on my legs has been a real issue this last few months. So it'll be interesting to see how I react to this body wash. It smells good as well. And then I also have this body butter here, which is the sheer body butter for very dry skin, 96 hour moisturizing moisture. So again, I'm intrigued to see how this one works for me. Ooh, that's nice. I like the fact that it's not massively scented. It is still scented, but very lightly, because I'm pretty sure that on my legs, if I put any kind of like scented body creams on, that actually makes them itch and like feel really uncomfortable even more. So I'm glad to see that that one has a slight smell, but it's not like too much. Then I also have this uh, sheet mask. What have we got? Is it an eye? We've got two. I think it's two eye masks. Two eye sheet masks for tired looking eyes. Instant cooling hydration. How nice is that? I love a cucumber face mask. And then last up, I have this lovely little, I've already used this loads. Uh, this is a Body Shop Swipe moisturising lip balm, but it is like a tinted lip balm. It's so nice because it's like just so chunky. You kind of just like throw it on your lips and it stains them, but also moisturises them. So sometimes I like put it on before bed really to get the moisture. But then when I wake up in the morning, I have like a bit of nice colour on my lips and I feel like I don't look as dead as I normally do in the mornings. 
and it's this beautiful kind of plummy pink colour. It's quite bright. I suppose now actually it's more of a bright pink sort of Barbie colour. You can just put a little bit on to get a slight tint. Also, I think this would work lovely on the cheeks as well. And the fact that it's got such a chubby applicator, I would say that would be perfect to pop on as a blush as well. Next up, I have another candle and this one is really interesting. Uh, it's called the Manifestation Collective and this one is for strength, peace and growth. And it's a lovely big, I mean, this candle is massive. And then on the inside, it has crystals in it. And then it also has a wood wick as well, which is so nice because that like crackles and it just makes the most beautiful golden glowing flame. But yeah, look at those crystals inside there. And this candle, oh, it smells so good. It literally smells like sherbet lemons. It's so nice but like really, really strong as well. I can't wait to burn this one. Oh, the brand is called North Muse. Uh, they have an Instagram which is just at North Muse with north.muse on it. Love the packaging, smells so good. Very excited to burn that one. Next up, I have this gorgeous little fairy. It's like a little decoration, but how cute is this little fairy? I don't know, maybe this is like handmade or something, I'm not sure, but it is the sweetest little Christmas decoration. So I'm definitely gonna be popping that on my tree next year. I just love it. Then I also have this, which is like a metal kind of, I don't know how this has been crafted. It's obviously been handmade, but it's this beautiful rose. I almost feel like this reminds me of something from like Shakespeare or something like that. I don't know why it just does, but it's a proper like solid metal rose, definitely been handcrafted by someone. You can kind of see like all the kind of like soldering and stuff. So yeah, really, really interesting thing. And obviously this is gonna last forever. You could probably put like a little, I don't know, maybe it's not designed for that, but I feel like you could definitely put like one of those candles in there as well. But a very interesting gift. Don't know what I'm gonna do with it yet, but I'm definitely gonna figure out what I'm gonna do with this metal rose. And then I also have this lovely looking bottle of gin. This is Blackberry Gin by the brand Tarquins. Look at the packaging on this. It's got like this like, kind of like wax looking melted top effect here and then frosted glass, but it looks like it's gonna be a really tasty gin. I generally only drink gin in the summer, so I'll be looking forward to when we get into the summer and I'll be opening this up. It says here, our celebration of the great British Blackberry. Our flagship Tarquin's Cornish gin is distilled in small batches then lovingly infused with the most brilliant berries around. Just before bottling, we add a touch of local Cornish wildflower honey to add some fragrant sweetness and balance. That sounds so good. Next up, I have this red wine decanter. I am very excited about this item. I love red wine, it's my favorite drink. I've sort of got into wine tasting. I'm learning more and more about wines all the time and red is just my absolute favorite. Basically, with red wine, it should be in one of these, like the most like flattest decanters you can get. It's supposed to be like spread over like a big surface area, that's how full bodied red wine should be served and I always go for like the most fullest body red wine so this is perfect so I'm now whenever I get a bottle of red wine I can put it in my decanter it has this really cool like cork like ball that like you know obviously stopper and I just feel like also it's just really aesthetic it. Like, just imagine you're having like a dinner party, not that we ever do dinner parties, but maybe one day. And you've got your red wine here and you just like pour it out. Oh, I just feel like it tastes so much better as well when you just do it properly, do you know what I mean? So that was a lovely gift and very much suits me. Next up, I have more bottles of alcohol here. I have this lovely bottle of Prosecco and then I have another bottle of Prosecco. And then I also have this lovely bottle of mulled wine. So I've got plenty of alcohol to keep me going over the festive season. I also had more alcohol given to me, but I've drunk that, so that's gone. I have another candle. This is the Christmas Spice scented candle from Habitat, which I believe is the Sainsbury's range. And this smells so good. Oh, it smells so good. Also, look how cute the packaging is on this as well. It's this lovely dark green. Is it green or blue? I'm not sure kind of in betweeny colour, packaging with like leaves all over it. Oh, it's so good. It's like Christmas spice, but with a vanilla creamy undertone to it. Oh, 
God, this is why I love Christmas. That fragrance of candle is just my absolute favourite. And then last up on Christmas Day with the people that I actually spent Christmas Day with, we decided to do like a joke secret Santa. So we gave ourselves a £10 budget and then we did like a random generator thing online where it told us who we're buying a secret Santa for. So then we all had like a funny random gift and my secret Santa gift was these mini hands, which I just think they are absolutely hilarious. I can't really do it now because I've got three quarter length sleeves on. And also I've left the bloody plastic label things on them, but I'll get that off soon. But yeah, it's just these like mini hands. I don't know why, they're just so hilarious. <laughs> I'm not sure why. I watch a lot of reels, like Instagram reels and like TikToks, and people are like using these hands to do like random things. So I did laugh when I got gifted these for my secret Santa, but yeah. Anyway, that is gonna go ahead and conclude the end of today's video. I really hope you guys have enjoyed it and I hope you've all had a lovely Christmas as well. All of these things that I've talked about, if I can link them down below, I will. So I'm hopefully gonna be uploading this on New Year's Eve. So happy new year to you all. I hope you have a lovely evening, whatever you're up to and good luck with everything that you're doing in the new year. And I will see you with my next video during the first week of January at some point and I really look forward to seeing you then. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.